Hi, in this video of WPF, we are going to discuss about the triggers. So basically trigger is something which is always represented as something which occurs at the runtime. If you have knowledge about the database, we have the triggers which performs an action whenever some particular event takes place. And even here in WPF, triggers are doing something similar, not operationally, but logically. So basically is the response of some action means whenever some particular action which we will set with the help of a condition will take place, we, it will give it some response and what it will actually do. The some setter properties change with some conditions. All right. For example, we have some controls which are having some properties and if I want to change some properties conditionally on the runtime, I can do that with the help of the triggers. So basically these triggers are quite similar to styles but there is a change like styles are set at the compilation time at the designing time while here trigger works dynamically and it changes the setter values according to the conditions. So it's mentioned it's applied as a part of styles but trigger properties are changed dynamically with conditions. In the previous video when we were discussing about styles I told like we can change the values of any particular property either at the compilation time or at the runtime. In the previous example I just shown you the concept of doing the changes at the compilation time but here we will do at runtime because we can't do the changes in the styles at the dynamically but we will do the same thing through the triggers as well. When condition give false, they return to the initial value. All right. So what does that mean? It changes the value with the condition means if the condition is true, it will change some setter values to some uh, customized values as we will pass. But as soon as the condition will start giving you false, it will come back to the original form. So here in WPF, we have three kind of triggers. That is the property trigger, data trigger and event triggers. Property triggers are something which work on the dependency properties while data trigger works in the non-dependency properties. Whereas event trigger works with the animation. So in the coming three videos, we will give a separate look on each of these triggers and we'll see how and when we have to use them.